Hello YouTube, this is the Avenging Crusader. Welcome back to episode 30 of Let's Play Europa Universalis 3, Divine Wind as the Hansa. This is episode 30. We've survived for almost a hundred years. Once we hit 15 years from now, we'll be a hundred years in. We've made quite a few advances. We've taken two territories in northern Germany. We've also began our colonial empire by taking Madeira, the Canaries, and the Azores, as well as planning on taking Bermuda and taking some of northern Brazil. In this episode, we are going to continue to expand, and also we are going to try to work on our trade because for some reason, our trade is not what it should be. It's only bringing in 14.6, and we're going to try and bring that trade up. So I'll explain how to do that shortly, but I forgot to stop my start my timer. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. You won't even know I'm gone. Hey guys, timer's been set, and we are ready to go. So first thing that we are going to want to do is to expand our colonies. So what we're going to do is we're not getting very many colonists, and our government tech is only at 12, and what we want to do is get to level 17, which allows us to get another idea. So normally what I would just do is wait for this, but since we do have... Basically, we're the first ones to discover America, and we did it way ahead of anybody else. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to swap out the Patron of the Arts National Idea. And this is going to hit our culture pretty hard. So before we do that, let's go ahead and recruit someone that we're going to need later. Can we get a better colonial dude? Probably not. Is there any good colonial dudes already? No, of course not. Let's see if we can get a level 5 or 6 government. There we go, level 5. Bingo. So let's replace you. Sorry, sir. There we go. And let's go ahead and trade out Patron of the Arts for... Uh, where is it? Here you go. Colonial Ventures. That'll give us an extra colonist per year. Now, this is going to make us lose free stability. Put us in negative 1. But we are, at this point, small enough and rich enough that it won't really affect us too badly. So we're just going to go ahead and do that anyways. I've also noticed that my sound is off, so give me just a second to fix that. Alright guys, sound has been fixed and we are ready to go. So we did just lose 3 stability, and normally I would not recommend doing this because losing so much stability at once is usually a recipe for disaster. Bad, bad things will happen. But, thankfully... We are small rich, we have tons of vassals to protect us, and we are not in anybody's bad graces, so hopefully we will not be attacked. So this should resolve itself. Also, I've noticed that we have quite a bit of inflation. I don't know how we got it, honestly, because I think it was probably an event or something last episode that I've forgotten about by now. But that should go down. It'll take quite a while to get rid of that, but it sh uh, it's only a tiny effect, so it won't really be too bad. Let's go ahead and speed up time and really get started. Uh, we do need to send off our colonist. But I think we're going to save him for Bermuda. And there we go. Stability is already up to zero. And it looks like it will increase every six months. So we'll be done in a year and a half back up to positive three stability. We were also exploring up here. We're going to lose money. We'll be out in December. That's fine. That's good. You guys... Ooh, that colonist doesn't get here for a while. Why don't you go ahead and explore that, and maybe that colonist will save you. That is a lot of attrition. Go ahead and chill in Chesapeake. There we go. Hopefully we won't lose these guys like we did the last set. That was pretty embarrassing. Alright. The reason that it doesn't matter if we go below in December is because it's only calculated monthly. So this is actually after the transition from November to December. And when the tra so this is basically saying we're going to go below from December to January. But you get your month your yearly income in January, so that'll basically negate that. All right, there we go. That's done. You guys can hustle over here to from here. What? Oh, I sent the colonist. I should not have done that. Got. And 
Holland is at war with someone. Who are you at war with, Holland? Why are you fighting? War with England. Hmm. England could easily whoop us. I don't really want to go to war with them. We do have a fairly good relation. Uh, who are they at war with? Holland, Holstein, Liege, and Ireland. None of those are particularly dangerous. Ooh. Alright. If we cancel access, that puts us below good relations and gets rid of that. So there we go, we don't lose any any relations from that. Yes, 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 everyone joins. Thank you. And Holland is the leader and they are reconquesting Utrecht. That's nice. Do you really you don't have a core? No, the Dutch reconquest. What are you doing guys? Oh boy. Alright. Anyways, back at Bermuda, our team is gonna heal there for a bit and heal up. We can we're getting colonists all over the place. And since we did take this loan, we might as well use it to send colonists everywhere. What is our colonial maintenance? One point four. I think that's yeah, that's just from Bermuda. And that'll be paid off soon enough. And we get a free magistrate. Peace from England. They want us to do all kinds of stuff. No, thank you. Uh, we get naval supplies. Let's go ahead and use. Where is there we go? Dock. No production. Extra tax. Build that there. Trade in all these places that do not trade to us. Hmm. When can I build a center? Oh, we do trade through Rebecca. One second. Let me look at this. And I just completely ignore the naval supplies for the moment. Don't worry about that. That will be fixed. Okay, this trade's basically it looks like Madeira. Okay, Madeira trades through Andalusia, but it looks like everything else we control trades through us. So we might as well go ahead and improve our trade by building lots of trade buildings in everything but Madeira. Such as Osnabrück, which we built that ages ago. Canaries, build a trade depot. And we'll okay, good. We're not going to go around money and get back to it. Ah, excellent. Let's go ahead and get another stability. Coolio. And there's another one. See, this is an idea. I don't remember if I told you guys or not. This is called idea swapping. When you just go ahead and take one national idea and switch it out for another. It's not effective if you're something big, like say, nope, wrong one. If you're Castile, or England, or France, or Burgundy, or Bohemia, if you swap that out, that'll take you a long, long time to get that stability back up, like maybe double or triple what it's taken me. But since we're small, we can easily afford to do that, because it'll fix itself. And we are going to need to increase our treasury a little bit. Maybe if we just do war taxes, that'll fix it. I don't actually intend to attack England, there's no point, and we will lose relations for no reason. We're already at negative 10. I don't really want to aggravate them too badly because they can and will destroy us if we mess with them. And I honestly, there's nothing we can get from attacking England. They have a huge navy, they'll probably blow ours to pieces. Let's just not mess with them. And our mission is to create a fleet. Which means we need 27 more ships. No thanks. I'm not going to mess with it. Let's go ahead and reduce. Now we'll leave land morale as it is and just increase our treasury a little. To right about there. There we go. And once we pay off. Once we finish Bermuda. Then our expenses will go down. And the same thing once we finish this one. Oh, good. Okay. Holland's done with England. Holland annuls treaties. Okay. So we're out of that war. No problem. So yeah, like I was saying, once we finish paying off Bermuda and this Graupera down here, our uh, fees will go, our monthly fees will go down again. 
All right, there we go, 822. We're gonna go below, so we're gonna wait until January to send this next colonist. There we go, ooh. Okay, still December. And we have a loan to pay off. Do we, do we have two loans? Ooh. I think we do. So we really want to pay these off quickly because they're charging us interest. So what we're going to do is be smart here and increase our treasury. And this is going to kill us inflation-wise. But we're going to get 32 a month, and by January we should be able to pay off this loan. And that means that our monthly expenses will go down as well. And there's our stability up as well. Good. Government's about to go up. There we go. Oh, our loan payment is not available anymore. Alright. When does the other... I don't know when the other one is supposed to be paid off. But since we're going ahead and making this money, send that there. And reduce our treasury to right here. Still going down, but we're not losing much money. And once Bermuda gets paid off, this will go down from 2.8 to 1.4. We won't have to deal with all of that maintenance. Um, yeah, we were working on production. Let's do that. Do have full magistrates. Okay, let's go ahead and send a guy here to help finish that off. And how much are we losing each month? Eight. All right, so we can build a building that's worth 44. Or in this case, 47. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Nope. Nope. Yes. High end. That should not put us under. Okay, there we go. And now we're only losing six and a half because we paid off the colonial maintenance that we were having to spend, plus that's now making additional money. It's a win-win situation. And I believe we can send that without going into debt. And that'll eliminate all of our colonial maintenance. How about you? Why don't you go explore for me? Bermuda has been blockaded. Great. Where is our... Okay, we have a random hog right here. Let's ship that over. We do need to m deal with these pirates. Because they will reduce... They're not going to have a huge effect on the overall economy. But they are... Where is it? It's here. It's supposed to show like blockaded and you lose a whole bunch of money from it because the port's blockaded. Not sure exactly how much it is, but it's not good to have. All right. I believe we are just about out of time for this episode. Thank you for watching. Join me for episode 31.